Great to be on with you. Glad to have you here. Uh, there's a man named Adam Brown. He's an Arkansas hero. If you would, sir, tell his story. Sure. Uh, Adam Brown uh, was a Navy SEAL from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, Adam was killed in combat in Afghanistan six years ago. Uh, yesterday, um, we uh, participated in a ceremony in Hot Springs with Adam's family uh, and Congressman Westerman and Senator Bozeman uh, to name a post office in Hot Springs in Adam's honor. Um, for those of you who don't know Adam or don't know his story, I strongly urge you to get the book Fearless and read it. Um, Adam has an incredible story, having grown up as an all-American kid in Hot Springs, uh, unfortunately having succumbed to addiction as a teenager to both drugs and alcohol, but then turning his life around with the love of his family, uh, with the support of his God, and then ultimately with the Navy, becoming not just a sailor, not just a SEAL, but a member of SEAL Team 6, and overcoming the worst kinds of adversity throughout his life. It's inspirational, not just for those who respect the uh, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, but for anyone who has faced tough times in their life and needs to know that there's always hope. Senator Tom Cotton, I think I hear the little guy back here. <laughs> you, do, you do hear from the background, yeah. Uh, hanging out at home. All right, news this morning that Obamacare premiums are going up fairly substantially. Uh, your thoughts on that one? Well, you know, the Obama administration admitted yesterday that average premiums across the country are going up by 22 uh, percent. I don't know many families that can afford a 22 percent increase in their health insurance, especially when that health insurance doesn't provide them the same kind of access to doctors or care that they once had. Uh, this is why uh, I've been saying that Obamacare is bad for Arkansas families for so long. And we have to replace it with better health care that puts people in charge of their own uh, health care. We can't go back to what we had before Obamacare, but we have to get beyond Obamacare as well. What uh, would we? Be, what kind of system would it be beyond Obamacare? Well, what would it, we look like? So we would. We would. I would trust our Kansas to make the decisions that are right for them. I wouldn't impose so many mandates on them, so many dictates of care. I also uh, would allow them the freedom to shop outside of the Obamacare exchanges, so they can pick pick the products that they want. We do that in so many other uh, walks of life, whether it's buying TVs or buying clothes or buying cars or buying smartphones that the government doesn't regulate, doesn't dictate what we can and cannot buy. Why does that have to be the case for health insurance? I trust our Kansans to make those kind of decisions. Would there be a penalty, a tax penalty, if you didn't purchase insurance like there is with Obamacare now? No, because I don't think we should make Americans pay a tax penalty for failing to, or being unable to afford insurance that Obamacare made unaffordable to begin with. Um, what I would do is try to find a way to maybe give, it, for instance, a tax credit so that health care is affordable for everyone. If health care is affordable via a tax credit or, or some other mechanism, and it's attractive because it's not loaded down with mandates and too expensive for most for our Kansans, then I think most our Kansans are going to buy their health insurance. You don't have to penalize them because most people recognize that they need basic health insurance to cover their own care or the care of their kids, like the little one I've got yelling in the background right now. <laughs> He's doing fine. <laughs> Senator Tom Cotton, intense fighting going on in Syria and also around. Iraq. Is the U.S. doing what it needs to do to support this? Well, we're making gains in Iraq, Kevin. Uh, you know, the, the Battle of Mosul is proceeding, and we have Americans who are advising a lot of the Iraqi security forces. But, but ultimately, the ability of the Islamic State to project uh, power to conduct external operations is not based in Iraq. It's based in Syria. And as long as the Islamic State has a safe hold in Syria, just like al-Qaeda once had a safe hold in Afghanistan, then the United States is going to be threatened by terrorist attacks from that group. Senator Tom Cotton, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Great to be on with you. Thank you for being on.